What's good? How y'all feeling, man? It's the GOAT God. OG Grandmaster Young Swan. What's good, man? How, what's up, what's up? Listen, guys. I have a calling. I need your help. Now, listen, you. Yes, you. You. Yeah. You should be liking the video and subscribing right now. You. Do you want the dribbling of old? Do you want the dribbling of previous? The dribbling of past? Are you tired with the 2K20 dribbling? This is your chance to make a stand. If you want better animations, if you want more reliable animations, if you want more creativity, if you're tired of just seeing people hezzy, aggressive, hezzy, aggressive, Hezzy. Why I say aggressive, aggressive behind the back. If you're tired of people doing that, you need to listen to this full video. And you need to do what I say to make a stand. What I say. Okay? Now listen. Here's how you can have an impact. An impact. It might not come in 2K20. It may show up in 2K21. Okay? So... Listen, listen up, man. This guy who puts spaces all in his name, he tweets at Young Mike, Young Michael. By the way, Michael, give me my logo. Come on, what you doing? He tweets at him. Mike, you're doing so much to save the game and we appreciate you so much, but fam, can you please add an option to use the dribble stick from NBA 2K19? Some people miss that, and some people like the new dribble stick plus ankle breaker, unpluckable, useless. Please respond. <laughs> you know he's hurt. He just wants to have fun. This little kid just wants to have fun. I don't know if he's a kid, I'm assuming. But that's a desperation call. He's talking to you, Michael. I know a lot of y'all probably feel the same. Drop a like if you agree. Drop a like if you want 2K dribbling of old. Now listen, young Michael responded and said, what aspect of 19's dribbling control do you miss specifically? So he is considering switching the dribbling. There, I, I there's, Probably from my thoughts, well not thoughts, probably from all the tweets, videos, streams, no one's a fan of this dribbling, right? So he's probably going to switch it for 21 or maybe he might have some recent patches to really switch things up, man. Now, I know a lot of y'all stupid old head idiots with bad win percents. By the way, I have over a 91% every year. Um, if you're not on that level or you, you can't do that without running from people, you know, and especially when you talk and comp pull up on you, if you can't maintain or get nowhere above an 80, please stop trying to tell me how the game should be because you're not good at it. Okay. You suck. Okay. Now listen, but I, I still love you. I still love you, bro. I still love you. Now listen. In my opinion, bro, and in a lot of people's opinions, you know, it's still pretty easy to ISO, okay? I could easily go 7 for 7, 90% of the games I played, and drop 21 on the threes. You don't need to do it on the twos. Everyone can ISO this year efficiently. It's super easy. People haven't. Almost everyone has over a 90 win percent that is a YouTuber is not hard at all okay so when people ask for dribbling keep this in mind they want to have more fun they are not asking to be more op when they're asking for ankle breakers they want to have more fun they're not asking to be more op we are unbeatable okay unbeatable look at us okay okay unbeatable man there's no the only, hold on, <laughs> the only, the only real things to do in this game to be efficient, just like in every 2K, you just hit a quick speed boost, isolate, dunk, you know, or 
you walk there it's it's very easy to iso so I, I just want to stress this before I go on with the video because I get so much backlash from you reddit and just trash old heads who suck at the game and need screens to score and just like like, like you need screens to score you can't score without one like y'all just think we just know we're unstoppable we want to have more fun simple okay we tired of being paused in all these animations trying to slow us down to cater to y'all because you can't play defense we we can easily do one move and score and dunk you feel me but we want to you know we we want to do a combo just like people do in real life and just like go crazy and put some creativity in the game do you guys listen 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 i know this is kind of a rant but i got a lot to talk about this video so watch the full video but listen do you guys know bro do you guys know that we all end the same all us isolation all isolation players all us screen users we all end the same before we shoot the ball iso players even the dribble gods they can do all that fancy stuff but then at the end of the day they're doing a hop step <laughs> or they're doing um they're doing a hezzy burst or a hezzy behind the back or this that and it or ends with an aggressive and then a hezzy it's just some people they just do the straight ISO, like me. I just do straight ISO. I usually do two, three moves, you know, and just score. That that's that's basically my style, you know. And then when I start blowing them out, I get fancy on them. You feel me? But some people they like to do eight moves and then score. You know? The thing is, give us the option, bro. No one likes it. The the drip the dribbling to be. Dole. Now look, from 19, the dribbling was eh. You know, see, I'm not a hit my top dribbler. Okay, I know a lot of y'all are hit my top little spinny dribblers. I agree that it's not realistic, but it also does not help people win games. I promise you, bro. Any comp level, look at the pro am teams. They don't dribble like that. Look at the stage players. They don't dribble like that. Why? Because it's not efficient, bro. Okay. So that means it's for fun. So there's no reason to take it out the game. Basically. Seriously. Like, it's not... It, it looked bad when a bump is, 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 you know, just lost and getting killed. But at the end of the day, that dude can get killed by just a, a hezzy burst pass dunk. That's how trash he is. If you can't guard that, you can't guard that. You know? Because he coming right down your throat. But, you know... 19 the dribbling you know if they if they fixed hands up defense it would have been way better how you could momentum and it was just it was just better bro bro you know what's sad bro the dribbling system in 18 was even better than this year's bro you feel me besides the walking size ups which they have in this year again i don't know why besides the walking size ups in 18 bro you know how you could just momentum behind the back simply and then momentum behind the back and just go it's like they they keep trying to patch things and pause things and put these weird stupid animations that no one wants it's not about adjusting we're unstoppable no one wants it it delays us it's it's not it's not an efficient move dribblers don't dribblers in real life bro they have the option to do efficient stuff okay they're not gonna go through these moves that they don't have to do let us dribble how we want bro give us all the dribbling moves from 15 besides that that cheese 18 and crossover 16 let us do what we do remember the behind the back you go that way that way he needs to add it all back the Jeff Teagues, I see you brought the Kobe. I mess with you. I like it. You know we like the Kobe. I wish we went back. You know, make sure there's no crossover 11. You know, a little too cheesy. You feel me? Now, I would not care if they took out Hitmon top dribbling. I don't care, bro. I do not care. I'm not a dribble god. I'm an ISO god. There's a difference. 
okay? I just want speed, fluid movement, and when I do something, I do it, bro. I go. I'm unstoppable, you know? I like that, bro. 17, you know, spamming the momentum like that, like from backcourt court full court was a little too much you know but i still think that should happen people can do that in real life you know it might look a little crazy maybe like you know but we shouldn't have a a double uh a double uh <laughs> a double like momentum just to momentum there's little kids who can momentum i've seen it there are clips everywhere little little eight-year-olds come on bro give us dribbling bro you know, the thing is, you got a whole community that would play way more if you buff stamina, revert dribbling, combine it with all these past 2Ks, and then add more onto it from your own flavor. But you got to stop limiting us. So look, listen, if you want to have um, a voice for this, go under Mike Wang's uh, comment on Twitter, comment something. What, what 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 you would like and how you feel about it now if you just an old head bum stay out of it bro just be quiet go away don't ruin it for the rest of us you feel me it's like for y'all's brick wall screens you don't have no pause animations or nothing stopping you you could just go there and hold circle and <laughs> that's the most efficient thing to do in the game to just brick wall people and you know, and then efficient meta basketball, people just hezzy, aggressive behind the back, hezzy, aggressive behind the back. That's way more efficient than any type of dribbling. Okay? And it always will be. So there's no pause animations in that. So, I mean, let people dribble, bro. Let people do what they do. Stop trying to limit the dribblers, bro. Okay? Until you see um, people in Pro-Am the all the 2k league guys or people in comp stage really do glitchy dribbling to win because all they are is the exploiters okay all stage players and pro-am players are are exploiters they are the biggest tryhards in the game they are going to do whatever it takes to win they do not care they do not go outside they do not see the sun they hate the sun it hurts them it burns them inside they are demons okay they do not like sun they don't like people they don't like showers they don't like soap they don't like none of it so what they're going to do when they get online they're going to go crazy on that two dollars and fifty cent court and they're going to claim they are some type of unnatural being and they are going to play that in the easiest way most efficient way possible if that's three centers if that's dexing if that's holding they're going to do it. When do you see Mike Wang, Baluba, other devs that always keep trying to nerf dribbling? When do you see them do this stuff that y'all keep nerfing and taking away? You don't see it. So therefore, my point is it's not efficient, bro. It's literally just for fun. So give it to people, man. You know, let them have fun. Let them make their mixtapes. It promotes your game more. You feel me? Look at Young Steezo. You know, look at uh Cheese, Crackhead, Hank, uh Cole. There's all the dribblers. Let it go crazy. Everyone, I run you, all of them. Me, even though I'm not really a dribble god, but like, you know, we dribble, we ISO. It's we built a whole community off of it everyone's telling you they don't like it it has nothing to do with adjusting we saying we don't like it so that means our fans probably don't like it you know so i mean that's all i gotta say y'all go on the uh y'all go <laughs> y'all go let mike wing know how you feel bro and follow me on twitter link in description um and to further back up that you know they're they work on 21 right when they re release 20 just like every other year and you know they might patch it a little bit but they're not gonna over patch but you know just like mike wang said you know th this guy responds 
Mike, you guys working on 2K21? You've been active. He says, we're working on both 20 and 21. So a lot of people, you know, they always be like, why are you still complaining? Game's been out four months, blah, blah, blah. You know, just stupid stuff like that. But they don't realize they're working on the game right now. Literally all times of the year, they're probably working on the game. They probably only get like a month off or two or whatever, or maybe not. But they're always working on the game. So even in the late months, month eight, month nine, you still need to be telling them, you know, keep pushing stuff. And, you know, we might get it in the next game for all the 2K heads out there, bro. So, you know, let them know. Always let them know. Every time they tweet, get on their tweets, let them know how you feel. Don't be disrespectful, though. Be nice about it. That's the only way they're going to listen. You ain't, you ain't got to call them, you know, a bit. And all this other stuff saying they mom this and that. Like, they're not going to listen to you, Johnny. Calm down. Oh, you got to relax, bro. But also, we have some Giant Slayer news for y'all that ain't seen it. I know this is kind of late, I guess. But um, Tyler tweets out to young uh, Michael. How many inches taller does someone have to be for Giant Slayer to come into effect? Okay? Now, I wish they would get these badge descriptions way more young michael responds it starts to take effect at one inch but you get the full effects of the badge at six or more now we don't know if it affects your attributes or just like i don't know but hey i guess that's how giant slayer works anywho go peep my last videos i don't know why they did not get promoted in youtube I guess all my censoring of the video just makes it to where they think I'm cussing, I guess, even though I was. But hey, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications if you a real one. Like the video. Drink a gallon of water a day. Go to the gym seven days a week. Follow me on Twitch. Um, if y'all want to play Kyle with me, if you run around 2K with me. Got like a 97 win percent. Every game I've lost on 2K, people have literally thrown. So I really have a hundred one percent. But um, yeah. I'm out this hole. Make sure y'all click on one of these four videos and adios, man.